What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back and today I'm going to be discussing the open beta times that were released for the PS4 for Black Desert Online. So this is my fourth time making this video because I got up, I saw just a tiny sneak peek of what the, the beta was announced and what day it was going to be but nothing else. So I was going to make a video. Then I got and I saw the screenshot that's currently on screen and I made a video after that. Then I saw some more details and I made a video because all of this was set. I recorded these in the morning hoping that I could get these because I wanted to release it tonight. But point is, is that then they made a video. And so now here we are with more details. I really hope no one else releases anything. If not, you'll know because you're seeing this video. Okay, let's get into this. So. Here is the beta schedule. We'll get into more of the details, but the beta schedule is August 9th to August 13th. So it's August 9th at 12 a.m. to August 13th at 2 a.m. These That's Pacific time. Um, the beta begins August 12th. If you did not buy the game yet, pre-order the game yet, which on PlayStation it charges you, so just keep that in mind. I would suggest, I'll give a suggestion with that in just a second, so... Don't go run off and pre-order the game yet. Um, so it'll start the 10th if you have... See, this doesn't make any sense in this email, but it'll start the 9th at 12 a.m., okay? Depending on what time zone you live in or where you live will change what actual day this is, but it will start August 9th at 12 a.m. Pacific time. Do the conversion for yourself for when that starts. Okay, August 12th is when the open beta starts without pre-order now they don't have a time i would assume it's the re-roll time so somewhere between 1 and 5 a.m eastern time so somewhere around there is probably when it will open up for the general public you do not need ps plus to play this open beta but you will need ps plus to play the full game so do keep that in mind you will need ps plus in order to play the full black desert game on launch i would suggest buying your PS Plus, and then pre-ordering the game. You get a discount on the game if you have PS Plus, which is interesting since you need PS Plus to play anyway. But yes, you get a discount on the game with PS Plus. So I would suggest you do that. Um, and so in the video, they talked about some of the stuff that you can see in the game. The classes are the ones that I did in my video. You can check that. I'll put I'll try to remember to put an eye in the sky for that, so you can click on that and go check out my breakdown of the classes. But it's Warrior, Berserker, Wizard, Witch, Sorceress, and Ranger. So it looks like those will be our launch characters on PlayStation 4. Uh, so my plan to stick with or to start with the Ranger will stay as starting with the Ranger because we're not getting any other characters. The regions for the beta. Uh, is pretty much anything left of Camasil Temple, I think. Pretty much anything left of that, including Calfian, uh, which unlocks Hexay Sanctuary and, like, Lake Kaya, um, which is the Catfish Men. Hexay Sanctuary is a pretty good farm spot as well. And so they unlock two pretty decent. They did not mention anything about whether or not your character will carry over to the full game. I highly doubt it. We didn't get that luxury on Xbox. I doubt we'll get it on PlayStation, but you never know. Uh, life skilling will also be unlocked. Um, if your character doesn't carry over, I'm not sure why you're going to life skill in a beta, but you know what? There's probably someone out there that wants to cook and chop down trees and fish, so there you go. You can do that in the beta. The level cap is not explicitly said in the video but i'm gonna guess it's 50 based on what they said i'm assuming they don't want any i'm assuming well i'm assuming it's going to be 49 and 99.99 percent unless they want to allow pvp then it'll be 50 um they didn't make mention of level 50 but there's a part of me that thinks it'll be 49 and they won't offer that quest to allow pvp but you never know maybe we'll have some pvp they should test that but it would also make sense if they didn't and they just left it for the game. This isn't really a beta test, let's be honest. They've had Xbox for months as their beta test, so I doubt this is a full-blown beta test. It's more probably just fanfare to give the, the PlayStation players something to play early. On top of that, um, 
we will have that level cap, which means you can go farther than the Xbox beta. I believe the Xbox beta capped kind of early. Um, and the X, I, I believe that this beta is so close to launch that I just don't really expect it to have a whole lot of bearing on anything in the game. I mean, they'll find glitches and they'll update them and whatnot, but the game is already, it's not optimized, but it, but it's already set up on Xbox. So I can't imagine they're going to do too much with this PlayStation beta other than take minimal feedback, find major glaring issues and holes, and just give the fans uh, some time on 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 the game on playstation so that's going to do it for this video guys i hope you all enjoyed it drop it a big old like if you did subscribe if you have not and i'll catch you guys in my next video um we just had ninja awakening on xbox so if you did not catch that video earlier today go check it out and i will see you guys later peace